white-tailed deer give birth to their young in the late spring and early summer months. The gestation period for a white-tailed deer is approximately seven months. When the doe is ready to give birth, she will look for a secluded area, such as a thicket or a clump of trees. She will then dig a shallow depression in the ground, line it with vegetation and grass and give birth to her young. The mother will instinctively seek out a safe and secure place to give birth and will try to keep her newborn forms concealed from predators. After giving birth, she will cover the forms with vegetation and leave them alone while she goes off to feed. After a few hours, she will return to the farms and stay with them until they are old enough to accompany her. White-tailed deer usually nurse for about five to seven months. During this time, the doe will nurse her farms up to four times a day. Nursing is essential for the farm's growth and health as it provides them with the nutrients and antibodies they need to survive. Baby fawns are born with a reddish brown coat with white spots. As they grow, the spots fade away and their coat becomes more of a solid tan or brown color. They are born with long legs and a small body, which makes them look awkward and uncoordinated. They are very small and weigh just a few pounds at birth. Baby fawns are usually very timid and they will hide behind their mothers in response to potential threats. They also typically stay close to their mother's side and will often follow her as she moves around. Baby fawns are also very curious and will often explore their surroundings, though they will stay close to their mother. 